you know, every single time that I think that I'm going to drop this game, it pulls me back in with Husky Raid, and I'm addicted again. Anyways, what's going on, boys? Welcome back to Life Advice with Hunter, week 19. Holy shit, next week is already week 20. Isn't that fucking crazy? Is that crazy to think about that 20 weeks ago we were quoting Jordan Peterson? Anyways, what's going on, boys? I just want to say that I hope that you're having a wonderful day, and that I hope that you're just having a great start to spring. Uh, as you guys know, um, spring is upon us. With that comes a big time change, and that's sort of today's topic in a weird way. Today I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about seasonal depression. Now, this is probably seems like a little bit of a weird topic, but I feel like it's a very important topic for this time of the year as we're moving out of that weird cycle where it gets dark at 5 p.m. and we're not dealing with seasonal depression as much as anymore. But I do want to spend some time talking about seasonal depression overall, what we can do to sort of defeat that seasonal depression and what we can do to work through it. Uh, for all the people that don't know what seasonal depression is, this is a phenomenon where a lot of people feel this depression around November, December, and January, and February, in that time where the days are shorter, it's where we don't have as much sunlight here in the United States, we lose that. We go through daylight savings where we basically, it gets dark at 5 p.m. And then it, it gets lighter in the morning, but whatever, that's besides the point. But what is the point is that I want to talk a little bit about daylight savings and basically how we can sort of get over our seasonal depression. So first of all, seasonal depression is literally getting depressed with having less sunlight. I'm going to be real with you guys. I go through seasonal depression pretty hard for a couple different reasons. Uh, number one is that my job... I get up pretty early and then I go to work and then by the time I get out, the sun's gone and I don't really have sun in my office, right? So that's a major issue for me. So basically, I'm not seeing the sunlight during the day at work and then by the time I get home, it's already dark or on days that I have off, I don't have a window in my bedroom. So a lot of the time I'm in here working, I'm in here editing, I'm in here writing, whatever it may be, or in here recording, whatever it may be, I'm in here. And I spend a lot of the day not seeing the sunlight, especially during that time period where it's like, all right, we need to be grinding and we need to be posting videos, but I'm not seeing the sunlight because of that. So I want to talk a little bit about how to navigate that, how to work through that, and some of the techniques that you can use to sort of get around that seasonal depression. So first of all, I just want to point out that seasonal depression is completely natural for many different reasons. The sunlight is literally what drives us and gives us energy, right? That's that's literally what provides our earth with energy, and that works for us too. We have this sort of sense of joy with light. We have this sort of sense of comforting, uh, feeling this warmness, whatever you may feel whenever you're standing out in the sunlight. Those things are important, and those things are lost for part of the year for a lot of people. And the thing is, is that I don't want to be that guy that tells you to go outside, that is not really great advice, now is it? But what I am going to do is, is push on that just slightly. I'm not going to yell at you and be like, go outside and throw on a football. It's not what we're here to do. But what we are here to do is I want you to spend a few minutes outside every single day. Find that time. Lie to your boss and say that you need a smoke break. Whatever it may be, I just want you to be able to soak up some sunlight. The reason why I say this is because I started doing this around November. Now, I live in an area and an environment that is way more progressive than me needing to take a smoke break to get my sunlight. If I need to step outside, my boss is going to have no issue with me stepping outside and just taking a quick little break. We all do that and we all need it from time to time. And so that's what I want you to do. Just find a few minutes throughout your day that you're able to step outside, soak up the sunlight, and really just take in the sun's rays. Now, I know that I'm a little late on this, but it's still important because we are still only in March. A lot of people are still going to experience that. A lot of people are still going to struggle with the seasonal depression. It takes a bit to get used to, especially with how fucked your sleep schedule gets with these time changes. You can probably tell by my voice, my fucking sleep schedule is absolutely shattered thanks to this stupid time change. But that's not the point. The point is, is that I want you to be able to find these strategies, either for next year or for now, that help you get out of these slumps, 
right? When we're not getting the sunlight, when we're not getting what our body craves, right? Our earth craves it, we crave it. The plants crave it, the trees crave it. Everything that is alive craves that sunlight. And another example for me personally is over the summer is I was working at a gas station third shift. And let me tell you, I absolutely loved and hated it. I'm a night owl by trade. Doesn't mean that you still can't have seasonal depression. Listen, when I'm up late and I'm working on projects or whatever it may be, I still get about of a little bit of this nightly depression while I'm working on those things. And especially when maybe I haven't seen the sunlight too much because I'm typing away or I'm editing away, right? So the important thing is, is that you can't lock yourself away even on those days where you don't have sunlight. And I do genuinely mean that. It's one of the recipes to keep yourself depressed is genuinely avoiding the sun. When you avoid the sun, when you deprive your body of what it is chasing, right? Who doesn't love stepping out in the sun from time to time, right? When you take that away, you're creating a recipe and an environment for you to really start to feel that depression. And I don't want to be negative about that, but that's what that causes. It causes these roots that a lot of people are facing when it comes to their depression, when it comes to their anxiety. A lot of it stems from their diet, their lack of exercise. It also stems from a lack of sunshine. Those are major factors that are going to influence your mood throughout the year, throughout the day, whatever it may be, when it comes to the sunlight. And for me, when it came to working that job, I was sleeping during the day and then a lot, there was a few nights, the first few nights, I didn't, basically didn't see the sun. I saw it pretty much as it was coming up when I was clocking out and I was going home. That wasn't great for me, right? And I quickly realized that, so I changed the sleep schedule, just this titch. I was going to bed as soon as I got home and I was waking up around like two o'clock instead of, you know, whatever, six o'clock, right? So that was the difference in what I made when it came to my sleep schedule so that I could still get some of that sun. When it came to this year, what I did is that number one is I took those small breaks, like I mentioned, just stepping outside for a couple minutes a day, just making sure that you're still able to soak up some of that sun so that you're not completely fucking drained of that sun. I also spent some time before work or sometimes even on those days that I had off, I would just make sure that I spent some time outside. I made sure that I was soaking up that sun. I was making sure that I was getting some sort of sun. Now there are some alternatives if you're in a situation where you can't do that. What I would recommend is that they do make sun lamps. I haven't done that personally. I don't know if that shit actually works. I've never done any research on it. If you wanna do your own research and figure out if that would work for you, Go for it. I'm absolutely happy with coming up with alternative solutions. Once again, not everybody can just step away and spend some time outside. I absolutely get that. But what I do want you to do is I want you to find a solution that works for you. Whether if that is stepping outside, whether if that is the lamp, and whether if that is waking up early or setting your alarm later, whatever it may be for you to experience some sunlight if you are experiencing some bouts of seasonal depression. I don't want you to simply just say, all right, whatever, I'm depressed for these few months. That's not fucking productive. That's not. We all that have dealt with depression knows that that's not how you can live through depression. You can't just live through depression. That shit is going to eat you inside and outside. It's going to affect your relationships. It's going to affect how you interact with people. It's going to affect your day-to-day -day life. We know this, right? If anybody has experienced depression, you know that's how it affects you. So you can't simply just be like, all right, for these next three months, I'm just going to fucking deal with it. No, dude, that's not going to be helpful. That's not going to work. Overall, it's going to hurt you mentally. It's, it's going to hurt when all of a sudden we go back and your body's overloaded with sun. It's overloaded with joy. It doesn't know how to handle these feelings. And it creates this feedback loop of that depression, right? You're not solving the depression. You're just pushing those feelings away. And it's just like dealing with the depression that is caused by breakups, by trauma, whatever it may be. You're not focusing and working towards ending that depression. What you're doing is you're pushing the emotions down and you're repressing that depression. And guess what? It causes a bigger issue and causes you to be more depressed. It causes typical depression rather than the seasonal depression that we can solve at the time. Another thing that I would recommend is also just surrounding yourself with other people. Once again, you can sort of take that, you know, positive energy from people, especially in this case with what we're dealing with, with this case of depression. We're not dealing with things like trauma 
or traumatic passes, yeah. what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with a lack of sunshine. And I still want you to find ways of gathering that sunshine. I don't want you to lay down and say that I don't want the sunshine. I want you to have that sunshine, we just need to find it in different ways. It's super important that you find these sort of pockets of time that you're able to absorb the world around us. Our body, our brain, our heart loves the world that it has around it. But once again, if we ignore that world around it and we don't give it what it wants, if we don't listen to the body when it tells us that it wants that sunshine, it wants that air, it wants those blue skies, whatever it may be, if we tell it that it can't have that, it's going to struggle without it. We see it in children all the time. When they come home and it's already dark, they don't like that shit. We see it with children all the time. They get confused and, you know, they struggle with that. But what's important is, is that we can find ways around this and we can find ways of basically saying, hey, I'm going to fucking beat it this year. I'm not going to be a depressed fuck all December. I'm not going to struggle with it. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to essentially find a way of fixing these issues. We're not just going to let these issues sit by while we struggle every day. That's not fair to us. And that's not what your body's telling you. Your body is giving you signals of what it wants. And every once in a while, you just need to listen to it and do what it's asking for. What aspect of your life is it asking for? Is it asking for an improvement on your diet with your stomach issues, with your other issues that you may be going on internally, whatever it may be? What mental hurdle are we having trouble getting over? Is it caused by something like seasonal depression? Is it caused by something like a poor diet? What is causing it? Once we figure out what's causing it, we can then attack it, right? We're not going to sit here and pretend that it's going to get better on its own because some things aren't. Some things we are going to need to take complete control over and we are going to need to find a solution that works for us as our own individual person. Everything isn't going to work for everybody, right? Sometimes standing out in the sun isn't enough for some people. You may need to find a different avenue a different idea of what it takes to essentially cure these issues that we may be having around this time of the year. And truthfully, it may be helpful to talk to other people in your life that may also be struggling with it. Don't be afraid to ask people. So many people are honest and open about their seasonal depression. Don't be afraid to ask, right? Just start a conversation about it. Figure out what strategies are other people using around you in your life to satisfy those issues that they're dealing with around this time of the year? And also remember, as soon as this time change ends, make sure you fix that fucking sleep schedule. Don't put it off. Don't ruin it even more. Fix it. I promise you, you are going to feel 10 times better as soon as you get that sleep schedule in check and you're waking up at a normal time, a reasonable, a reasonable time, and you're not stressing your own mind out. You're not putting yourself through that anxiety, that stress, whatever it may be that you feel. You're working towards it, and your body is thanking you for that every single day. Anyways, boys, I just want to say thank you once again for stopping by to this week's Life Advice. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the content, please go down there. Hit that subscribe button. Press that like button. It helps us to make sure that this content is reaching a bigger audience. It also lets people know that we exist over here on Point C, and it really means a lot to us when you guys hit that subscribe button, when you guys hit that like button, or when you share it with your friends, it means a lot to me, it means a lot to Noah. It really just means the world to us, and we've been growing fast here. And we've been putting in a lot of work, and we really appreciate your guys' support. We could not do it without you, and uh, we hope that you join the family. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful, and I hope that it helps you understand a little bit more about what's going on in your life. Anyways, boys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and peace.